Right, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the hopeful elect, pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days all right now as you can see here i have this article taken from the daily uk and it's entitled man's worst enemy killer robot dogs that are controlled by soldiers minds are trialed by australian army all right and as you've seen at the beginning of the video this technology is in full effect, all right? And um, as of recent, you know, you've had a lot of um, information come out in regards to the Australian army and their draconian ways. I believe it was three, four weeks ago, I had done a video regarding, you know, a campaign ad that was released by the Australian army that was actually showing the soldiers attacking the civilians, all right? And there was a bit of an uproar concerning that. So they're making it known where they're headed with this, all right? They're, they're definitely making it known, you know, where this is going and how terrible, you know, things are going to get upon the earth, okay? Now, um, let's scroll down a little bit. It says soldiers controlling a robot dog with their mind as they patrol a dusty road and sweep a dilapidated building may sound like science fiction, but it is the scene in a real world demonstration. The Australian army has perfected mind controlling abilities with eight sensors neatly packed inside a helmet that work in tandem with a micro self uh, holo, holo lens, all right? So, you know, this man, you know, Esau Edom, you know, the wicked, beginning with their elites, you know, they have perfected, you know, the sword, all right? They have perfected the sword, which is their blessing, all right? And let's get that in um, Genesis 27, all right? Because... The reason Esau is able to come up with such, um, you know, technology and artillery and put it into practice on such a high level is because his blessing is the sword, all right? Now, this is Genesis chapter 27, and we'll get straight to the point. This is verse 38. And it reads, And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shalt thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke off from thy neck. All right. So the main point I want to home in on is where it says at the beginning of verse 40, and by the sword shalt thou live. All right. So one of the blessings that Esau Edom has received as a nation of people beginning with their elites is the bless is the blessing of the sword. All right violence okay that's why um there's scriptures that allude to esau edom as a bloody man all right they have perfected the sword they have perfected violence okay what does it say in um, psalm 73 let's get that right quick <clears throat> and this is all to fulfill you know biblical prophecy all right so they had to ultimately get that blessing from Yahweh Shem Shai so these things could be fulfilled okay now this is Psalm 73 and um, we'll start from verse 5 
actually we'll start from verse 4 and it reads for there are no bands in their death now this is concerning the wicked all right for there are no bands in their death but their strength is firm they are not in trouble as other men neither are they plagued like other men because they're in rulership all right this is their rulership this is their kingdom that they're currently embodying verse 70, 70 uh, verse chapter 73 and, and verse 6 reads therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain violence covereth them as a garment all right so pride compasseth them as a chain and violence covereth them as a garment all right so one of the um one of the dominant traits and ways of Esau Edom is violence all right that's why the scripture says violence covereth them as a garment they embody violence they embody death okay the scriptures tell us in the in the book of Habakkuk that their their spirit is not upright in them all right this is how they were made to be all right it tells us in the Romans uh, 9 all right that um they were vessels as uh, vessels of wrath fitted to destruction man all right so this is the purpose why they were created man they were created to be vessels of wrath upon the face of the earth okay now let's get right quick uh psalms chapter 17 and um <clears throat> and verse 13 and it reads arise o lord disappoint him cast him down deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword all right so who's the wicked all right malachi one the wicked are the edomites all right the edomites which is you so-called white people beginning with you elites man you are the edomites that the, you are the wicked that the bible speaks of who are the edomites okay and you your blessing is the sword all right beginning with your elites so king david said arise O lord disappoint him cast him down deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword okay so the wicked are the sword of Yahweh bar shimi awashai okay so a lot of um a lot of judgment is performed via way of the edomites all right who are the sword of Yahweh bar shimi awashai okay and that's going to become more apparent and um you know more revealing in these last days all right the more that the lord uses esau edom as his source to pronounce judgment upon his own people all right upon the wicked of his own people and we're going to see that displayed all right through jacob's trouble spoken of in jeremiah 30 and 7 okay so we're in a very very serious time right now upon the face of the earth and great judgment is about to befall many people, all right? And in particular, like I said, you know, the Lord's people, all right? You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians that are not right in the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Shai hasn't chosen, all right, to be enlightened, illuminated in these last days with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You're going to feel the wrath and the judgment and the righteous indignation of Yahweh Bashim Shai in these last days. And one of the ways you're going to feel it is through Esau Edom and his military, all right, and his um, draconian ways. Okay? Now, let's go back to the article. It says, um, soldiers controlling a robot dog with their mind as they patrol a dusty road and sweep a uh, delipidated, delipidated building hopefully I'm reading that correctly, it may sound like science fiction, but it is the science, but it is the, the scene in a real world demonstration. The Australian army has perfected mind controlling abilities with eight sensors neatly packed inside a helmet that work in tandem with a Microsoft HoloLens. All right. So this devil, you know, has perfected the sword. He's perfected, you know, this, um, whole ai technology and he is you know damn near pretty close if not already has perfected you know this ai you know technology all right and that's why he's pushing 
so furiously, you know, to manifest the MOTB and to bring that into um into existence upon the earth. All right, the Revelations 13 and 16. It says um, the innovation features an AI decoder that translates a soldier's brain signals into explainable instructions that are sent to the robotic um, quadruped, allowing humans to stay focused on their surroundings. All right. So this is, you know, high level technology. All right. This ain't no joke. A new video shows military personnel conducted a conducting a simulated patrol clearance using the robot dog which was instructed to sweep a facility using what it read from a person's mind brain waves and with 94 percent accuracy all right so they can literally will you know this dog to do particular things and it can do it all right by the power of the mind it can literally read you know the mind waves okay so that's the kind of technology that esau is dealing with out here mind reading okay allowing this robot dog you know to read the mind waves of the soldiers so they're all acting in one accord all right so that's why you know the scriptures tell us let's get it right quick in uh daniel's <clears throat> chapter 12 and verse one that you know this time you know upon the face of the earth it's really not going to be comparable you know to any other time there's going to be some really weird and strange things happening upon the face of the earth that's going to leave a lot of people stumped and you know having no clue of what the hell is going on all right now this is daniel's chapter 12 and verse one and it reads and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. All right? So the times that we're about to experience upon the earth is going to be incomparable to all of the other times that have occurred in history okay nothing is going to be comparable to the great judgment that Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is about to manifest in these last days and that should invoke pure you know um dread fear and um the willingness to repent and change your ways through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, knowing, you know, what's really coming. Okay, because you had men of the Lord that threw up and that, you know, got sick at seeing the visions of the kind of things that's going to be happening in these last days. And that's why Ezra said, you know, who shall deliver me in those days? So you can just imagine, you know, how dreadful times are really going to be. And how fearful and blood curdling the times are that we're about to enter into, man. All right. And that's why we're going to need help. All right. That's why we're going to need help from Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And we'll get that in Isaiah uh, 59 in a sec. All right. Now let's uh, read some more of this if there's anything else to read. <clears throat> All right. The system was developed by the University of Technology, Sydney that first unveiled the innovation last year, but recently published a new paper detailing the work. The user used our uh, augmented brain robot interface, ABRI, platform to control the robot systems, reads the paper published by the American Chemical Society in uh, March 16th, all right? Uh, the ABRI platform allows the user to interact with machines, robots in more natural forms, which is better than the conventional brain computer interface. All right, so that's pretty much all I want to read, you know, from this article. You get the gist of what's going down here. You know, they're actually able to control these robots, you know, these uh, killing weapons with brain waves. All right. Now, this is Ezekiel 21 and verse 9, and it reads, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened 
and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? It contempteth the rod of my son as every tree. All right, so a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished, man. It's perfected. Okay? So Esau is not playing no games. You know, he's going to come down with great wrath upon you people. And again, he's going to come down with great wrath upon you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians that are not right in the spirit towards Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. All right, you're going to be up for grabs in that day. And this is going to be a very, very, very terrible time of judgment upon the face of the earth. The scriptures tell us that blood shall be as dust, bodies as dung. Okay? This is going to be a very dreadful time that's about to manifest itself upon the face of the earth, man. This is going to be a sore slaughter. There's going to be many different methods and ways in which you're going to witness and see people die in these last days. Okay? And this judgment all goes back to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. All right? Because he controls all things. Now, let's finish in Isaiah uh, 59. And I believe it might be verse 19, if I'm not mistaken. Because like I said before, we're going to need help. All right? The elect of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and Lord willing, would be of those men. We're going to need help and we're going to need a defense. All right? So, this is Isaiah 59 and verse 19 and it reads so shall they fear the name of the lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy who's the enemy all right beginning with esau edom all right the so-called white man and when you go to psalms 83 there's a full outline of the enemies of the nation of israel all right if you want to go and view that so it says when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. All right. Now it says when the enemy shall come in like a flood. All right. So look, man, these troops, these soldiers, all right, these new world order, you know, uh, forces, they're going to come in, you know, with great force, man. All right. That's why it says like a flood. They're going to come in with great determination, with great force. And you can be assured that they're going to have an extra you know, demonic, satanic spirit upon them, all right, when they're coming down on the people, especially, you know, the men of the Lord, because it tells us in 2nd uh, Ezra's, um, what's that, 2nd uh, Ezra's uh, 15, or no, 16, 2nd Ezra's 16, and around the 70th verse, it tells you that they're going to be like madmen sparing none, okay, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So they're going to have a, a heavily demonic spirit upon them when they're coming down and trying to cement this new world order system, man. All right? So we're going to need help. So again, it says, um, and, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, all right? So the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. All right, so the, the Lord is going to protect us, man. He's going to bestow upon the men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with with spiritual power to defend themselves. Okay, the Lord is going to cause spectacular things to happen in these last days. That's going to be a testament to His power. Okay, so we have great things to look forward to, man. All right, it's not all about you know the doom and the gloom, and um, you know talking about how Esau, you know, is going to, you know, is going to do his thing, which he is going to do his thing. But it's also important for us to know and understand that Esau is being controlled by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, doesn't it say in uh, Surah 18 that um, all things obey his will? All right, speaking of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So when Esau does come in like a great flood, just know that is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's fueling and controlling him to fulfill prophecy. All right. What we have to worry about is if we're right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and if we're doing the right thing according to the Spirit. Okay. Because we want that protection. 
We want that hedge. All right? That's what we have to worry about. What's going to happen is going to happen, but we want the protection. All right? So it's our power that's controlling all things, and that gives us great comfort and solace. So with that, Lord willing, this uh, lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I'll say Shalom.